So we are the follower of Jesus Christ. So we all we are learning from Jesus Christ. That's why in Matthew 4, 18, 19, Jesus, when he met Peter with his brother, he said to them, follow me, I will make you fishers of men. Before he make you, you have faith to be his follower. Remember, God can make you rich. God can make anything you like. But before he make you, you have to be his follower first. Follow me and I will make you. So when you are a follower of Jesus Christ, every follower must know the heart of the person is following. The same time Jesus met Peter with his brother, when he said, follow me, I will make you the fisher of men. Since then, Peter with his brother, they knew as we are following this man, he's going to make us the fisher of men. So if you are a follower of Jesus, you should know what is in the heart of God, what is in the heart of Jesus Christ. Do not forget, in the book of 2 Peter 3, 9, the Bible says, God says, the Lord is now slack for his promise, as the other people are thinking. But it's a long suffering is because he doesn't want even one person to perish. But he wants everybody to come to repentance. That's what is in the heart of God. Is in the heart of the person we are following. The same thing in John 3.16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believe in him perish not but have everlasting life. That the goal can we imagine the one who created you and I remember in the beginning nothing was there except God. Only God was there in the beginning. And that God is a powerful God. He's a mighty God. Everything you see, the word says was created in his world. He was there in the beginning by himself. Nothing was there. And then he started to talk. When he's talking, then things began to appear. God was there, mighty God. He said, ah, let there be light. Boom, the light show up. God was there. He said, ah, let there be the heaven. And then, boom, he show up. The mighty God, when he talk, things happen. But the mighty God accepts to become as you and I. He took flesh. He came on the earth. Why? To follow so. Amen. He came on the earth to follow you and I. Yes. So if you are a follower, you don't know what is in the heart of God. That means you are not following him. You are following something else. Maybe you are a follower of money. Maybe you are a follower of religion. Maybe you are a follower of the world. There is a difference between the follower of Jesus and the follower of the devil or the follower of money.